Today, I'm going to be talking about a cryptocurrency that has been really exploding lately. It's done more than 250% since its launch already, and it is not stopping here. What is this coin, guys? Well, let's find out when we do a deep dive into this video. Welcome back to the Crypto Blue Show. I'm Kiara Dukes. Thank you for being here with me today on this wonderful Sunday. I truly appreciate you guys. Uh, you know, I'm doing this video for you kind of uh, not live, but uh, pre-recorded, but just like an hour or two uh, ahead of time. So just giving you that ahead of time. I hope you guys have been enjoying all of the videos and I truly appreciate every single one of you blessed benevolent souls. Uh, thank you for being here with me today. Guys, if you want to trade this coin, hit my Bybit link down below. You can get grab it on Bybit. Now, this coin is called Batensa and its ticker is Tau. It's currently sitting at 42 on the market cap. Wow, guys, that's crazy. $367.87 price. It's up 9.8% today against USDT and up 8.2% against BTC. And its current trading range is between $330 and about $376, guys. It's already on 51,000 people's watch lists. And this coin was released not too long ago. As you guys can see, it is literally just absolutely pumping here. We have a market cap of $2.26 billion already, just as an example, with a trading volume of about 11.57. So the trading volume has slowed down a little bit. The fully diluted valuation is still 2.2 billion. Circulating supply is about 6.129 billion. The total supply is about 6.129. And the maximum is just like Bitcoin with 21 million. Now we're going to have a look at why it's modeled from the Bitcoin model. Well, we'll have a look and we'll let you know just now. Um, but basically, you can check their social media, uh, go check out the website, etc. And if you were to spend $10, you're not going to get much Tau. But if you're to spend $100, you're not going to get much either. If you're to spend $1,000, you'll only get 2.7 of these coins. So as you guys can see, it's not that high. The all-time low was $30.83, which was nine months ago in May. And we are now 1,093% up on this token already in one, less than one year, guys, just by the way. Uh, and right now we are seeing some incredible highs where we were up at 394%, uh, $394 and we're down 6.6%. So do you guys like Tau? Do you own Tau? Let me know down in the comments below if you own Tau. Uh, well, what is Tau, guys? Well, if you have a moment, I hope you guys can stay tuned for the video. And if you're enjoying this so far, please, you know what doing, uh, what, what smashing the thumbs up does for the, the YouTube algorithm. So thank you for that. I appreciate that. The summary, I'm going to give the summary because it's very long, as you guys can see. But here you can get uh, your wallet and you can basically connect it. And we'll talk about that in a little moment. But the invention of Bitcoin was a revolutionary moment for humanity because it introduced two simultaneously united yet distinct technological innovations, reshaping the way that humans organize themselves. Primarily, primarily, it was the first ever decentralized currency, which gave humanity a shared value system, one that could not be mutated by vested or centralized interests. Uh, with this, Bitcoin promised a future of fair anti-fiat finance. Really good, right? Second, and to achieve this aim, it birthed the original disseminated and permissionless digital uh, commodity market. This second point has not been overlooked by anyone who has been watching uh, closely. The Bitcoin network's computational power measured in raw hashing power has blast past the potential of any company or government. In other words, Bitcoin is more powerful than any company or any government and that's exactly why you would want to have a piece of this. That's just one reason, guys. Now, BitTensor is essentially a language for writing numerous decentralized commodity markets or subnets situated under a unified token system. The, these distinct markets function through BitTensor's blockchain, allowing each to interact and join into a singular computing infrastructure. By analogy, BitTensor brings the same type of abstraction with, uh, sorry, which Ethereum added to Bitcoin for running decentralized contracts, but onto Bitcoin's inverse innovation or digital markets. Compared to Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies attempting to leverage the digital marketplace, BitTensor has built a framework that provides 
ease for creating these viable and enormously powerful systems. Wherever it, however, its genius lies in the fact that every one of these inter-network markets is connectable and available to the whole, building a hierarchical web of resources, ultimately culminating in the production of intelligence, intelligence leverages uh, computation, which leverages data, which leverages storage, and then finally leveraging oracles and data procurement into infinity, all within the same ecosystem. This is Bertense's overarching vision, directing the power of digital markets towards society's most important digital commodity, artificial intelligence. Not only to build the most powerful intelligence network, but also to ensure that the benefits and the ownership of machine intelligence are in the hands of, of us mere mortals, bottom up rather than top down, which I do like. Um, I'm not going to read. Or, yeah, okay, I'll read the last sentence here to you. Uh, Bittense's goal and function of this technological foundation has several implications. For developers, a language to write markets for bespoke commodities such as compute, allowing them to take advantage of the enormous size, cost efficiency, and natural functionality of decentralized market systems. For front-end customers, Bittense offers access to resources at a cheaper price and without intermediary, unclosable, not falsely self-proclaimed as open, uh, for the Bittense network as a whole to create machine intelligence in an open and equitable uh, manner on top of ordered and dependent sub-markets, and finally for the world to ensure that the supremely important commodity of intelligence is owned by everyone, not just one centralized data space. So uh, Bittense is in a similar way also a computer, albeit one with uh, differing problems such as market misalignments but one that is programmable with the potential to become the most powerful ever created. And it is shared as a shared computer, not directly owned by a single entity the avail uh, and available for anyone's use. To run, govern, con uh, contribute to, and importantly profit from the technological products it produces. So we don't want to go too much into it, but the very simple way to explain BitTensor in an image is this. It literally is connecting all of the layer ones, the layer twos, the layer threes, the layer zeros, uh, the EKZ, uh, um, EK, ZK EVM rollups. It's connecting other blockchains to each other. It's connecting data to information, to computing power. This is incredible, guys. And this project has already been pumping like crazy. It has its own wallet. You can get its wallet and add it here. I have it here. You can see the different wallets that I use for my crypto. So I hope you guys have been following my channel because I give you guys crazy data and information. I tell you where to do these things, how to do them, what to get and what to look out for, where you can get free money too in the space. Now, here is their Twitter account. And essentially on their Twitter account, they've seen a massive explosion in growth as well. And to be very to be very fair and very honest they are only nine months old and they have already got um nearly sixty thousand followers here which is pretty good now one of the cool things about this is over the last year subnet one but tensors first subnet tested the limits of incentivized computing this week it's taking a new form as a crown jewel subnet for bit tensor so as you can see Boom, this is all of the um, information. Then it turns it into text and a data set context, LM. And then it creates tasks. And then basically it gives you a score at the end of it. And then there you have your uh, stored documents that can connect with each other through multiple platforms and multiple chains. Guys, this is crazy. This is going to connect Web 2 to Web 3. And it's going to bring a huge emergence of absolute powerful energy going forward. Now, what can this coin do um, in terms of its price? Well, we'll delve into that in a short moment. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel in the meantime. But right now, guys, um, yes, this is wrapped towel, but I couldn't you couldn't get I couldn't get the actual towel token, but pretty much it's the same thing at the moment. Currently sitting at $373. The coin age is two days away from having its birthday. It's got a security score from Morales Money of 89. 
Um, it's got its own social websites. It's got a 3.8 rating. I've rated it as well. I do like this coin and what it can do. So I'm definitely um, willing and able and capable to invest in this coin. I'm hoping to get at least two, maybe three of these coins over the next kind of week to two weeks. So let's see what that does, guys. But net experience buyers, 26 over here. Buy pressure is nearly 700k. Holders have increased by 82. Liquidity is down by about 1.5 million. You can see the price is currently falling. But the DEX tool score, and look how much security score it has. It has a 92 from the DEX score. And look at the bubble here. This is where all of the wallets are within this ecosystem. And as you guys can see, there are quite a number of wallets already that have been created in this list, right? Now, what does Tau look like from a charting perspective? Well, guys, it has absolutely pumped, as you have seen here. We are literally creating the biggest market cap that it has ever seen. So right now, we broke out of, let's call it this horizontal area here. We can draw this beautiful line in for you right there. We broke out of this area. You guys can see there, boom, that is kind of a W pattern forming there. We broke out of this area right over here. We made a huge pump up. We've pulled back nicely. We've made our next pump up. The likelihood is we do attempt to get a bit of a break out of this uh, horizontal level here at about this 395 level. But that is a psychological price level for people because that's at $400. And some people may think, well, damn, this thing's $400 already. Um, you know, if it had to reach Bitcoin's current market cap of like $800 billion, I mean, that's, that's gigantic. Um, it has 21 million, so I don't see why it can't pump uh, very high. But let's just remove all of these lines and squiggles for us quickly and just get dull right into the reality check of this, right? So first of all, we broke through this level here with good volume, the highest volume that we've seen, okay? Then volume declined over here while we were kind of slowing down on the buying. It reestablished itself here but it hasn't had the momentum yet to break through there. So I'm going to want to ask this chart from a charting perspective to see if we can actually get a breakthrough there on the weekly. Because if we can't, then I'm going to say to you that the, the likelihood of us kind of doing another pullback is very high, but I doubt we'll break this because we're kind of creating what almost would look like a bull flag pattern with the flag pole being that. Um, and if that ended up being the the actual case, well, guys, I mean, this is going to be the target for us on this beautiful uh, chart. And that will kind of take us up to about $713 on the next move. Can it hit that? That's very, very interesting. And that's two times where it is right now, just about, which would make this a kind of four uh, $4.5 billion market cap, right? Not bad. Okay. So currently, let's put here a $4.5 billion market cap because that's where we really are. That's 100% increase from where we are with a $734 price. But guys, this thing's only got $21 million, just like Bitcoin at the moment. And it is doing the same mining process as Bitcoin is doing. So it too will have its own halvings and it has followed the principles of Bitcoin, which is actually really very, very nice. So it's not trying to compete with Bitcoin. What it's trying to do is it's trying to connect the vast networks that these ecosystems of multiple blockchains run on. So, you know, guys, sure. I'm going to say to you that I would say that this would probably hit a $10 billion market cap in this cycle. No problem. That would give us a 1.6. A uh, $1,631 price, okay, on this coin, which is pretty decent, and that's a 345% gain or a 3.4x. Not bad, right? Now, I think this could do a $100 billion in this cycle, actually, no problem, which would give us a 43x on this coin or a $16,313 price. That's, for me, pretty, pretty darn freaking decent. Now, what I do want to say is that Bitcoin is currently sitting at around 40, call it 44,000, call it $45,000, okay? And it's sitting at an $800 billion market cap today, all right? Now, 
if we were to hit an 800, I'm not saying it will, I'm just using it as an example, because if you go and do your own research on BitTensor, I would advise you to go and do your research. I'm still diving into it myself, but I'm definitely going to be scooping up a couple of these coins. Um, and I would say to you that if we were to hit a Bitcoin uh, market cap, this coin would be higher, all things equal, if Bitcoin was $800 billion and this was $800 billion, this coin would be, BitTensor would be worth $130,000, uh, $130,511. And that would give us a 355x gain on this coin. Now, do I think we could do that? Maybe, but definitely not in this cycle. I, I definitely would not say in the cycle. I would say like $100 billion is pushing it in the cycle, but I think it's quite doable for this coin. So. I would say that that's reasonable. What do you guys think about it down below? Do you own any Bitensa? Um, or Tau is what it's called. I like the name a lot. If you guys enjoyed that, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for being here with me today. And um, yeah, guys, I would love to say to you that essentially, even if we were to only hit a $100 billion market cap, what would that actually look like for you? How many of these coins would you need to buy today to become a millionaire in the future? So it's let's go and see because there's um less money to spend on coins where they'll give you the same returns or higher gains just as an example guys um so remember uh in the crypto space don't hate it don't date it just trade it very simple okay um so if you were to get a million dollars and you were to sell them at the 100 billion dollar market cap so we would now divide this by $16,300, okay? You would need 61 of these coins to become a millionaire. Now, do you guys have 23, $22,300 to spend on this coin? I don't think many of you do. If you do, that's great. Um, but there are a lot of other projects that I could think of that I would be able to split $22,000 into much better to get even way more rewards than a million dollars. So um, I hope you guys are subscribing to the channel because I will be talking about those and I have been sharing some of them. That is one, that is one. There are some others, some of them are in there. Um, and you know, guys, I just don't want you to be missing out on any. So hit that notification bell. Love you all, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, see you on the next one.